Hello everyone, I am Suraj Bharat Gurle from ENH iSecure Private Limited. Today we are discussing about Cell Point Identity Now REST APIs demo. In this presentation, we are going to see about introduction to APIs, benefits of REST APIs in Cell Point Identity Now, and demo. Let us understand what API is. API stands for Application Programming Interface. APIs are mechanism that enable two software components to communicate with each other using a set of definition and protocols. In the context of APIs, the word application refers to any software with a distinct function. This contract defines how two applications communicate with each other using requests and responses. API architecture is usually explained in terms of client and server. The application sending the request is called client and the application sending the response is called server. For example, one application act as a client and the other act as a server. A client asks for some resources, say some example, a photo and a server send that photo to the client. The client here can be your mobile phone, desktop, laptop, computer or any other devices. In these slides, we will discuss about what is the benefits of REST APIs in identity now. Use these REST APIs to interact with cell point identity now platform to achieve repeatable automated processes with greater scalability and extend identity now functionality and the usability. By using REST APIs, we can create transform, we can create rules, provisioning policies, customization of an account profiles, system level changes, getting all information about sources and the account, object management and many more. In this slide, we will discuss about what is JWT token and how we can get the JWT token by using Postman. So JSON Web Token Authentication is a stateless method of securely transmitting information between two parties as an object. It is often used to authenticate and authorize user in web application and APIs. In the domain of authentication, stateless refer to a mechanism in which the server does not maintain any session state between requests. Each request in a stateless authentication system is complete and contains all the data required to authenticate and authorize the user or entity. In the case of JWT authentication, this come in form. Let's see how to create JWT token by using Postman. In this API call, we are using POST HTTP method in which we are using API call as an base URL backslash auth backslash token. This is an API call in which the base URL we are providing a partner tenants base URL. A JSON token consists some parts like a header containing information about the types of token and the algorithms used to generate the signature. In headers, we are passing multiple headers. JSON Web Token supports client credential grant flows in which we are passing client ID and the client secret. Once this is done, just click on the same where we are getting 200 OK response, which means JWT token is created. JSON Wake token generated with the help of REST APIs, it will last long until 12 hours, means 43199 seconds. In the response, we are also able to get some other information like scopes. In this slide, we will discuss about how to generate a personal access token with the help of Identity Now UI and the REST APIs. First, we will generate personal access token with the help of Cell Phone Identity Now user interface. A personal access token is a method of authenticating to an API as a user without providing a username and the password. Let's see how we can generate personal access token by using UI. For this, 
just need to log in into the our tenant Once we logged in, we need to click on right corner. Just need to click on this drop down menu in which need to click on the preferences. Inside the preferences, we need to click on personal access tokens where you can see the history of personal access token. Previously, I have created two personal access tokens creating a new personal access token to click on new token here we need to give the name like what is this token for here i'm giving paste the scopes we need to give all once we select all means it will grant access to APIs that require no authorization. Once this is done, you need to click on create. Here you can see our client ID and client secret is created. The second way to generate personal access token by using Postman. In the Postman, just need to click on the V3 collection of identity now, in which We can able to see the personal access token API call where we need to pick, select the create personal access token. In this API call, we are able to see it is using HTTP method as a post in which this base URL variable contains base URL of a tenant. This is the API call base URL backslash personal dash access dash token. In the body, need to give name of a personal access token. Here I am giving. Now with the scopes, here I am giving scopes as an all. Once this is done, you need to click on send. Here, we are getting 200 OK as a response. Here, our personal access token is created. Right now, we will have a look on how to get an access token by using browser. For this, you just need to log in into your tenant and copy the tenant URL. After copying the tenant URL, create a new tab, paste the URL that you have copied. After that, just type UI back. In this, we can get our access token. This is our access token. This also contains the base URL of a tenant and the odd type. Right now, we'll have a look on how to execute identity nows REST API by using developer portal. For this, just go to developer.cellphone.com. Once you visit developer.cellphone.com, we are able to see this kind of interface. So in identity now, just click on the drop down box. After that, click on V3 APIs collection, in which we'll execute list API, uh, list transforms API. For this, you need to click on transform drop down and click on the list transforms. On your right hand side, you will see here we already have our tenant name and the bearer token. I'm using partner tenant 
so for this I'm just selecting HTTP colon double slash API URL backslash v3 because we are using partner tenant our current partner tenant containing and different URL so that's why I have to these from here just the API URL once this is done you need to provide the URL token once again I will refresh this as this access token last only 10 minutes so that's why I have refreshed once you put the URL token paste it Click on the send API request. So in the response, you are able to see it lists down all the transform which is present in the tenant. Similarly, we can execute get transform by ID. I just copy this ID of a transform and say this is no email. I just paste ID over here and just send the zip. So here you can see we are getting the no email transform. So that's how you can execute the APIs from developer portal. Right now let's have a look on executing the cell point identity now APIs by using Postman. For this go to the identity now beta APIs identities inside identity list identities so th this is the API call in which base URL backslash identities it is using HTTP operation as an gate we we'll just select offset as zero and the limit so limit is like if we get the identity or the account so only 250 identities or accounts we will be get on a single api call it is a default value of a single api call the offset is an integer specifying the offset of an first result from the beginning of the collection the offset value is record based and the index start at zero for example, offset is 0 and the limit is 50, returns record 0 to 49. But the offset is 1 and the limit is 50, it will return 1 to 50 records. We will just execute this API call. Okay. We are getting 200, okay, which means uh, the API is executed successfully. And in the response, we are able to see. It lays down all the identities present on the tenant. Like this, we can execute all the cell point identity now APIs by using Postman. That's it from this session. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop in the comment box. Please follow our socials for more technical updates. Thank you.